Seven years ago, Minecraft released the combat update, an update that completely changed how we view the game, adding the offhand and cities and the elytra, but it also completely ruined the game's combat system. So I'm going to be fixing that by designing new weapons and mechanics to Minecraft's combat and then showing them to a real art director to get their feedback. Let's get started. Our first step is to identify the problem that we're trying to fix. Make Minecraft's combat fun again. Now we have to identify our constraints because if we don't, we'll just be going in circles. If that's even possible to do in Minecraft. First, it's gotta fit Minecraft's art style, obviously. And second, it has to actually solve the problem. This hopefully should be pretty simple. My plan is to design a weapon that completely prevents players from backing down when evenly matched. This way, no one just hides behind their shields like a coward. So after about four hours of designing, I had come up with a lot of different ideas. Some are better than others, but trust me, one of these has to solve the problem. I hope. Let's start with the shields. I designed three main mechanics for how to make shield play more dynamic. The first is basically just thorns on a shield. If you hit a player with a thorn shield, you will take damage. This seems like a decent idea at first, but it doesn't actually solve the problem. Adding thorns to a shield would most likely cause players to be more afraid to attack an enemy that has that shield, which is exactly what we don't want to have happen. So this brings us to our second shield type, the tipped shield. Kind of like an arrow, if you tip a shield with any potion effect, the shield will give that effect to any mob or player that hits it. Okay. Maybe Maybe don't tip a shield with swiftness, probably not the best idea. Now, if players got creative with these potion effects, they could tip a shield with a very rare potion like Potion of the Turtle Master and completely stun their opponents. Granted, they'll be a lot harder to kill, but maybe you could run away instead. They could also tip their shields with weakness or poison to get the upper hand when in combat. Now, you might think that these shields are very overpowered, but they're actually not, and here's why. To make a tip shield, you need the Dragon's Breath, which is only possible to get during the fight with the Ender Dragon in the end. So needless to say, this is a late game item, but I wanted to design a weapon that could be used before defeating the Ender Dragon, which is why I also designed the last shield on our list, the Rocket Shield. If you put four fireworks and a shield in a crafting table, you'll get the Rocket Shield. If you left click with this shield in your main hand, you will boost any mob or player that you hit backwards. Kind of like how a ram boosts players off of edges. This shield type will allow players to attempt crazy environmental kills, make jumps that weren't previously possible, and so much more. But these shields seem kind of boring. It seems like the obvious answer to fix Minecraft's combat, which is exactly why I designed the next weapon on our list the ink snowball. No, this isn't a joke. Hear me out. By combining an ink sack with a snowball, you basically just become a blooper from Mario Kart because throwing this item causes your enemies to go blind for a short period of time, giving you just enough time to escape or even try to take them out. By making the ink snowball stackable and cheap to make, players will be much more likely to use it in combat. But this weapon also has a downside to it. Mainly, it'd be very annoying to fight against because when you're hit by an ink snowball, you're basically defenseless because you're, you know, blind. It's kind of like if Mojang added a stun mechanic to the game. Because of this, many older games in recent years have decided to get rid of those types of stun mechanics. This is why I took a different approach when designing our next set of weapons, the Ender Arrow, Slime Arrow, and the Chorus Fruit Arrow. Now, okay, I gotta be honest, when coming up with new ideas to solve problems, sometimes you just create ideas that literally make no sense, like the Ender Arrow. Okay, now you tell me, what do you think would happen if you shot an Ender Arrow? Yep. Bet you didn't expect that. The slime arrow also makes no sense, and here's why. If you shoot a player with the slime arrow, they would get all slimy, which in turn slows them down. This might come as a surprise to you, but we already got one of those. Because of that, these two ideas are literally terrible. But making bad ideas is actually pretty important, and here's why. A person who designs characters, backgrounds, weapons, and even vehicles is called a concept artist. Their job is basically to design new things, solve problems, and to be an idea machine. Because they're constantly putting out ideas, coming up with a bad one is pretty much guaranteed. But Making bad ideas allows concept artists to get out of their comfort zone and to design anything that comes to mind. Even if those ideas suck, kind of like the LA. N no, seriously, have you ever seen this thing in-game? I definitely haven't. But given enough brainstorming, a concept artist will eventually design an idea that is really good. Like adding bees, the warden, or our next and final arrow, the chorus fruit arrow. When a player eats a normal chorus fruit, they are randomly teleported to anywhere within an 8 block radius. So by combining an arrow with a chorus fruit, you'll be able to teleport any enemy or mob to a random location just by shooting them. Giving you just enough time to escape being chased down for stealing your friend's valuables. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, tomorrow I'm going to be pitching these ideas to an actual art director and they're going to be rating my work. So if I want to impress them, these designs have to knock their socks off. But there's just one problem with that. I forgot the first step to solving any real problem. Research. I don't really know why players actually dislike the new combat so much. So to fix this, I scoured Korra. I scanned the Minecraft forums and I discovered something. Players that prefer the old combat system like
like it for two reasons, spam clicking and combo attacks. As it turns out, in the 1.9 combat update, Mojang added the attack cooldown, a new mechanic to melee weapons that forces players to wait before attacking again. And if they don't, the weapon that they're using won't do as much damage. And if it's a sword, the sweeping edge effect won't work. This completely prevents players from both spam clicking and performing combo attacks. So now that I'm armed with this newfound information, I have a solution, a true solution. Design a weapon that allows for combo attacks. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. After about 30 minutes of sketching, I designed this. This is the scimitar, a weapon that makes all consecutive hits deal more damage than the last. It also has a faster attack speed, so if you're on a roll consistently hitting attacks, you'll be rewarded for it. Funnily enough, the scimitar is a real weapon, with the first one being made all the way back in the 9th century by cures and soldiers. They were also used in horse warfare because of their relatively light weight when compared to other swords. But because of its risky nature, this item comes at a cost. You actually have to be much closer to your enemy than a normal sword to deal damage. But if you're good enough, the trade-off will be more than worth it. It also does more damage when you're on a horse, which actually would allow for horse fights to happen. I've never seen anyone do this, but I want to, okay? That just looks cool. In addition to the scimitar, I had also come up with a few other ideas like the tip trident, but I ultimately decided on four weapons to show the art director. The tip shield, ink snowball, chorus fruit arrow, and the scimitar. Speaking of which, it might be a good idea to talk about why I'm even showing an art director my ideas at all. I want to mimic the environment of an actual video game studio, and to do that, I need someone to act as the art director for my designs, and to tell me which designs are good and which ones are bad. Luckily for me, I know a guy who actually worked for a video game studio for several years, but they were busy. So I got the next best person for the job, my 12-year-old stepbrother, Maxwell. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's too young to be an art director, but listen, this kid is a Minecraft veteran. He even knows not to dig straight down. So because of this, I think Max will be the perfect art director for my new weapons. I also couldn't get anybody else, so I mean, there's that. Oh, yeah, in order to show him what I've been working on, I gotta make a slideshow presentation. But I'm not very good at those, and I only have like an hour before the meeting, so while that's being made, if you like this type of content, then please consider subscribing. These videos are a lot of fun to make, so your support means the world to me. D oh, shoot, I'm out of time. I gotta get dressed. Let's get this show on the road. Hello, Maxwell. Welcome. Hi. I hope you're ready for today because, let's face it, I'm probably not. What would you rate the Chorus Fruit Arrow out of 10? I think it would be very useful. I like it. Eight. I'll take that. Okay. Our next weapon is the Ink Snowball. I'm going to give it a seven just because of how easy it is to right. get. I think it should be put it in the middle and surround it by all ink just to make it a little bit harder to get. Yeah, because yeah. it's easily farmable is what you're saying. Yeah. Next one up, we have the tipped shield. It's a good idea, but I feel like it's missing something. So I'm going to have to read it and eat it. You were okay. hyping it up to be like really bad. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right. I like it. Thank you. There's still Thank a lot you. of effects. I feel like that the word would bring back a lot of old memories and it would bring a variety of different play styles. Force warfare or just using the sword for old combat and more damage and crits. So I, I feel like that would be really nice. I'll rate it a solid eight. Eight out of ten? Yeah. I'll take it. Not bad. Like I'd say this was a pretty successful meeting. So Mojang, if, if you're hiring, send me an email. If you like this video, I think you'll also like this one too. Uh, <laughs> that's not supposed to happen.